Hey everyone, on this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to veer off from coding and talk about anatomy and physiology. So anatomy and physiology is part of the curriculum for most or even all coding programs now online or in brick and mortar universities and colleges. It is amazing information that any coder should know because it helps you understand the medical reports and the diagnoses that you're coding for once you are certified. So you really have to have that general understanding of how the body works, all the different components of the body, what happens when they are disease ridden or injured, etc. How the body reacts to it, etc. It's so much fun. I like talking about anatomy specifically with neurology. I love talking about the brain, so I'm going to be having some videos solely on the physiology and anatomy of the brain. But I do want to introduce anatomy and physiology in the sense of how to be successful in your A and P courses, especially if you are a visual and kinesthetic learner, just like me. So I found that I do not do well just reading texts in a book and just looking at pictures and reading it over and over and over again until exam day and then not remembering a word that I read or anything else. It didn't work. That's how most of my courses were set up in high school and some in college until I took anatomy and physiology courses at a local technical college for my coding program. And the professor I had was amazing because he understood visual and kinesthetic learners. And that's where I got the idea of the activities where I have the information on pieces of paper and then I put them in order to test myself. That was one of the activities he taught us to help us work through any weaknesses we have to really see do we know it so then we can work on those weaknesses before exam day. So essentially every time you are studying it's like you're taking the exam. You know what to look for how to improve your studying habits and know what information you need to work on more before you even get to the exam. And a lot of it is you're not even looking at the book. So the book isn't even around and you are forced to rely on what information you were able to remember and memorize when you're doing the activities. So it's like taking an exam. So you have a couple dry runs before you actually do an exam. So. What I suggest all visual and kinesthetic learners do for a and courses is in your textbooks, I think most of them nowadays have an online version where you are able to take out just the visual diagrams and then you can edit out some of the information. I think I have an actual example. Alright, so I have this whole folder full of paper. <laughs> that has all the different diagrams that I used. So you have one that's completely blank and then the back side that has the correct information. Now, whenever you're working on a different body system or however your courses are set up, you can just have a binder that has all of your diagrams in it in the protective sleeve so then you can use your eye erase markers. So then on the, your empty side, you have your diagram. You can use your dry erase marker to fill in the different components or the different vocabulary terms or whatever. And then you can just check yourself on the back if you got it right or not. And you can slowly start working on memorizing more, but you have that visual and that kinesthetic aspect of remembering the information. It's pretty awesome. And you can take it wherever you want. You can wipe it off because it's dry erase, so you don't have to use sheets and sheets of paper. It's pretty awesome. Another really fun activity that you can do is especially with the different physiological processes that happen within the body, especially at the cellular level, to test yourself to, un to see if you understand the process. So at the cellular level, 
there are different ways that molecules can move between a semi-permeable membrane. Some of them can't make it through, so they need a type of transport to get through. So to understand all of those different processes, to see if you truly understand it, is you can essentially make a model with sticky notes where you have your phospholipid bilayer that goes around the cell. You have your proteins, the different ones that transport or move certain molecules across the membrane. And they have certain ways that they do it. So you could have your, you could draw out or use sticky notes to make your phospholipid bilayer, other sticky notes that are a different color for your proteins, and then smaller sticky notes for your molecules and actually go through the process of moving the sticky notes and verbally describing how it moves through. So that's another fun one. Or you can actually make models with string, buttons, beads, clay, Play-Doh. I mean, it's endless, especially with these processes because sometimes it helps to actually have a model and to act it out for you to understand it. And that's actually what helped me a lot. You can also use different hand gestures that might help you remember, like phospholipid bilayer. <laughs> that's a fun one. To remember which ones don't like water and which parts like water, you know, to help for the orientation of the phospholipids. It's a lot of fun. So there's a lot of things you can do, and I'll be using a lot of these in these videos when I talk about anatomy and physiology, so then I can help you all make it through your A&P courses if you are a visual and kinesthetic learner, and then you can start using some of these and making your own activities. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do more. Um, I'll have a link in the description to a couple of the other videos on coding, so you can jump over to those whenever you want. And I'll make sure to have links for any PCS procedures that we are doing that talk about whatever body part, body system we're currently talking about in these A&P videos. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And subscribe to this channel if you want more information on A&P or any of the coding systems so you're always in the know. And I will see y'all later. Bye!